The force of gravity acts between objects which have mass or stuff. So if we have an object here which has a mass and we have another object here which has a mass, then they will attract each other with the force of gravity. And that attraction, so the, the smaller object will attract the bigger object, and the bigger object will attract the smaller object. And both of these forces are equal and opposite. And that's the force of gravity. So when we come to think about weight, weight is the force of gravity, gravity on an object's mass due to the pull of the Earth. So if we think about the Earth, it has a rather large mass. And if we think about a satellite in orbit, it has a smaller mass. The Earth pulls that satellite inwards with a force of gravity, which we call weight. But strangely enough, that satellite pulls the Earth towards it with, an, with the same force, but in the opposite direction. Now, we don't see the effect of the satellite pulling the Earth towards it, because the Earth has such a large amount of mass that it doesn't move, well, it hardly moves at all. But the satellite will change its direction. And if it's moving that way, then it's going to be dragged towards the Earth. And that's why it will describe a, an orbit around the Earth. It's constantly being dragged towards the Earth by the force of gravity. Weights and other forces are measured in units of Newtons. And that has a, a shortening of N, after Sir Isaac Newton, who did a lot of work on gravity and uh, gravitational attraction. Now, here on Earth, a one kilogram mass has a weight equal to 10, or about 10 Newtons. It's actually about 9.81, but 10 will do for us at GCSE. 10 Newtons. So when you say, I weigh 60 kilograms, Technically, that's not correct. We should say, I weigh 600 newtons, or I have a mass of 60 kilograms, because mass is measured in kilograms, weight is a force, and that's measured in newtons.